So I would say if you have the ability to create merch, um, then I don't, I feel, I feel like why not? You know what I'm saying? Cause you never know. You know what I'm saying? You might feel like it's too early. There might be somebody right now that will buy some shit from you. Um, I would say as far as like starting to run like merch based advertising and, and, and starting to try to sell stuff, I would wait until you get an audience set of, I would say maybe like a hundred thousand people to a quarter million people. Um, because then like, or at least uh, let me say this, this, this is how I probably would do it is because you're still pretty much like building up, but you're still trying to build like, like, like pretty much like customer loyalty, like brand loyalty and all this stuff. So I would say like, like right. hit, hit those people with like a couple of like retargeting ads, you know what I'm saying? Like either with a couple of different songs or a different couple of different um, pieces of social content. So you can very quickly start to try to identify like who are either your super fans or have the most potential to be super fans, you know? And you'll be able to tell based off of like people who you can see are engaging with, um, engaging with stuff the most. Once you've run, like done that a couple of times, I will honestly try to do like a lead based campaign before doing a merch campaign. Um, so like doing something as simple as either trying to get them to give you their email or, or trying to get them to give you their phone number. Um, and then using that to, to let you know um, if it's a good idea to try to go hard selling merch. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, if you have 100,000, quarter million people audience set, and let's say you run a campaign and you, and you can only get 50 emails, they'll let you know that like, all right, these people that you've hit aren't engaged enough yet to try to run a merch campaign. So if you, you, you know what I'm saying, you get that amount of people, you start running these lead ads, and you get in a couple hundred, you no know, thousands of emails, and it's like, oh shit, bro, these people really like you. you know what I'm saying, like, now, now it makes sense. You know what I'm saying, now start planning out for an actual like merch campaign, you know, with the whole shebang, email, email blast, you know what I'm saying, retargeting as text blast, all that stuff. But like I said, I am a big fan of if you have the ability to comfortably create merch, and it's something that you can do and set up, then I always say like, go for it because you never know. You know what I'm saying, like ultimately, you never know. You know what I'm saying, like there might be somebody right now, like you might not be able to sell you know 100 t-shirts yet but you might be able to sell 10 you know what i'm saying and like every little bit of, of trial and error in my opinion matters and counts because you're you're ultimately um really just trying to see how much work is going to be for whenever you decide to scale up and do like a whole merch campaign you know what i'm saying so i'll say that if you have if you can do it comfortably yeah go for it if not then i would rather you spend your energy on retargeting ads and then doing a lead generation campaign at some point once you have a pretty good audience set Wow, what's up, it's Brand Man Sean, and if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description if you want to talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists. Brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app. It's really dope, and you get access to free courses as well but it might not be free forever. So hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.